hey, let's put on a show. <laughs> and to help you with that, my guests today are the people that you want working with you and for you and alongside of you. I'll bet you know these people, but just in case you don't, let's start with the introductions. The gentleman is Richard Davis. Richard is the producer, producing director of the Erie Playhouse. And sitting next, next to Richard's, I know you know her, Almitra Clerken, Almi, the executive director of the Erie Playhouse, which, by the way, is in its 98th year. It's 1,267th production. Wow. You guys have been around. <laughs> yes, sir. And, and, and around for 98 more years. <laughs> so. so, what's cooking at the Erie Playhouse? You know what? It never stops yeah, at the Erie Playhouse. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we're kind of set up like a, a summer stock theater where, mm -hmm. well, one show is in production and audiences are coming to enjoy it. At least two other shows are in rehearsal. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, we do eight to nine main stage shows a year, mm -hmm. uh, three to four youth theater shows a year, plus uh, concerts, special events, and, and yeah, yeah, all everywhere. kinds of stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the public has embraced you. Um, it, we were talking before we started taping that the pe people commit themselves to you, they volunteer their times. And uh, let's start with you said you're the producing director, Rich. Yes. That's a bigger job than it sounds. So what do you do? What does that mean? Producing? Well, I do a lot of Director. different things. First of all, I oversee all of the production elements of the show. So mm -hmm. I make sure that the scene, scenery people are able to do what they're doing and get it done. And mm -hmm. the costume people get what they do. And then I frequently work on all the weird stuff that ha shows have. <laughs> Pro props, puppets, you know, uh, I yeah. coordinate. Uh, if we have special effects flying, I coordinate that. Uh, we had Magic and Mary Poppins. I coordinated sure. that. So uh, all those different things. Plus, then I do all the contracts with New York, uh -huh. set all those contracts up, and then also do uh, help the staff in selection of the, the plays and mu musicals that we do. And when do you sleep? Oh, uh, not very often. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I think what people don't get, un maybe don't understand is we have 12 full-time people on staff, and yeah. each of them does a great job yeah. at their responsibilities. But theater for each one of us is also our passion and mm -hmm, our hobby. Mm -hmm. So if we work on a show, uh, either in a show, backstage, uh, in the light booth, sound booth, wherever we are, uh, if we direct a show, if we choreograph a show, we're also volunteering mm -hmm. our time. So yes. that's what we do. It is your passion. It, it is. You were born to do this. There's no <laughs> doubt about it. Uh, what was the last show you were in, and what's the next show you're going to be in? Well, the la gosh, last show I was in, oh my God, I'm sure it's been so long, I'm not sure that I... Uh, the last show I was in was, well, the next show I'm going to be in is Adam's Family because I'm Uncle Fester. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> that's easier to remember. We can go forward. That's easier to remember. Yeah, we can yeah. go forward. <laughs> Going back, okay. it's, been, it's been a couple of years since I've been on stage, so uh, uh -huh. I can't remember what it was off okay. the top of my head. Didn't mean to embarrass you with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You think I would. It's because I'm getting old. So. <laughs> no. No, <laughs> but no. they all kind of blur together after a while. They we do. do so many shows. They do. And only? Uh, yeah. Last one and next one. Well, I think the last one I was in was Les Mis. Mm -hmm. And I think the next one I'm in is, well, I'm doing nine, which is the New Year's Eve concert. We did it in 1994. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Richard directed, choreographed it and directed yeah. it, yes. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we uh, were, were reprising that uh, with some of the original cast members and inviting back a lot of women. It's one man, about 40 women, and three or four little boys. So we're looking forward to that. But mm -hmm. then we get to reprise uh, Les Mis in April, okay. and I'll do that again. As, as we said earlier, the, the Playhouse has been around for 98 years, pushing 100, and that's, that's incredible for a community theater playhouse. How have you managed to survive 98 years? I mean, that's a testimony to your talents, but I think also some more. So you got an hour, go ahead. Yeah, do you think, uh, I think my, my gut feeling again is that everyone that's been on staff over all of these years mm -hmm. had a passion mm -hmm. for the theater. Mm -hmm. So I think yes. that's helped quite a bit. And a love for the organization. I think mm -hmm. we all, I think most of us started out as volunteering, and, and once you become a part of that playhouse, family it just it you you learn what a special organization it is to be a part of and and we all love we love the place and you know we'd work there for free probably if we had to so yeah if we yeah. had to yeah. uh, the other thing too i think is we're fortunate with the sheer amount of talent Erie has and a lot of people are always surprised by that. We're not surprised by that anymore. No, it I, comes they're there mm -hmm. ages 5 to 85 they come to the playhouse and they try out and we, they make the commitment to the audition yeah. process then if, if and when they are cast to the shows, mm -hmm. of course, the entire rehearsal period. And the production runs are long, three weeks to five weeks. They make yeah. a big commitment. I was going to say before, again, Mary Poppins, the show, that was a 100-day commitment, three months. Mm -hmm. Les Mis, maybe longer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, and these people are volunteers. 
They are. And that's a love, that's a passion that they have, obviously. So let you can talk to the camera. Phil wants to audition, <laughs> and I have. What do I do? Where do I go? How do I prepare? Well, it's, when, we, we, we do. Small spotlight, Mr. Yeah. DeMille, please. <laughs> Burnt orange, please, about that big. We do an offer for, for uh, some audition workshops uh, off and on to help people get prepared mm -hmm. for their auditions. Uh, you know, we put, it's on our website when auditions are coming up. We have cattle call auditions usually um, through Web, the website is years. Website is? Uh, Erieplayhouse.org. Real easy. Yep. Erieplayhouse.org. Yep. Okay, yep. I'm sorry, continue. And. Uh, so we do the cattle call auditions, which normally we audition three or four shows at a time. So that gives people, yeah. you know, a chance to audition for more than one show if they want to. Uh, and then Richard asked, what's your priority in those shows? Mm -hmm. So they might audition for uh, Elf and the Adams Family, but their first priority is Elf. So as directors, we'll discuss that and say, you know, do you need them in the show? You know, they'd say they would do both, but right. can we can adjust we the schedule? Can we yeah. follow their priorities? So. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but, you know, we ask people to, to, if it's a musical, we ask you to come in and just sing 16 bars of a song. So we, you know, we're not, we're not expecting Pavarotti, but we like it when Pavarotti comes in the door. And we're surprised <laughs> awesome. And we're surprised yeah. awesome yeah. by can it. Can you say yeah. who surprised you? Can you mention a name or two? Oh, boy. Well, well I, the one that always sticks out in my mind as being one of the, mm. the highlights for me was Kate Amatuzo when she came to her first audition. Yeah. and we were all just floored by her and then we're like well can you sing this can you sing this mm -hmm. can you sing this you know because she could do so much and when somebody really specially talented comes in like that it really floors you but I, I just I on our yeah. last cattle calls a gentleman came into audition that he's been in lots of plays but he's never auditioned for a musical before and he had a beautiful voice and I was just like oh my gosh I didn't know you could sing like that you know yeah. so it's nice they get those surprises and then when they turn around and do so many playhouse shows they learn so much mm -hmm. so over a span of when did we do Beauty and the Beast that was Kate Amatuzo's first audition. Oh, ten years she ago. Was Belle. Was ten years ago. So mm -hmm. she yeah. surprised us and walked in. But ten now, ten years ago. Ten years her? ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now we do other shows, and she's such a great comedian that she oh, you, and oh. you don't know it, but she's learned Spamala. so much. Yeah. Spamala. Oh, yes, perfect Not example. Dead. Shrek. Yeah. Got, yeah. got it holding up. I get a shot of this one around here. We're holding up Shrek right. the musical. She was Fiona. She in was, that, she was so. Fiona. Mm -hmm. uh, that's yeah, just the playbill there, mm -hmm. and. Uh, so the process is, is, is fair. You, yeah. you, do you ever precast and say, mm -hmm. well, you know, this is, we need this range mm -hmm. and this, and you got to, uh, I mean. We try not to do that. Mm -hmm. we, I don't think we, I don't think we've done that at all in the last. Okay. Yeah, you know, we made the commitment as a staff over the last eight, ten years that mm -hmm. we would just see who comes. And, mm -hmm. and part of the process of picking the right shows, and again, Richard does, he starts us on that process, yeah. and it's a long process. It's a good mm -hmm. ten-month oh. process to yeah. pick mm -hmm. the shows. Yeah. We will turn around and look at the shows and say, do we have the talent? And then Inevitably, we say, yeah, the talent will talent come out for this point. show. Mm -hmm. Not only because wow. it, we have it, but because it shows that we've maybe never done before. And our volunteer performers are like, oh my gosh, I've always wanted to do that. Or mm -hmm. our volunteer musicians. You know, they've played The Sound of Music a hundred times, but they've never played Elf. Or they've never played the Adams Family, right. and they want to come and they want to volunteer to do that. Speaking of which, let's let's do that. How do you choose? What do you? Uh, is it a gut feeling that the public wants, or do you all sit down <laughs> around the table and throw some suggestions on the table, and you go, yeah? How how's that process work out? Because I know that's key to the show being successful. Well, we we've spent a few years surveying our audiences to see what what, dro what drives them to mm -hmm. to purchase tickets, and the number mm -hmm. one reason is title of the show. Okay. Uh, and then, then after that, actors and production quality and things like that. Um, so we, you know, I usually sit down and try to look at what the new titles are that are coming out from New York, because um, we can't just do a show, you know, we can't just do Mamma Mia because we want to. Mm -hmm. um, you know, all the shows are held by New York license houses and the producers of those shows control whether or not you can do them. And there's a price attached to that. And there's a price and, attached and that, to that. And, yeah, that, and that, doesn't, that doesn't mean you get the costumes and the sets, or right. Right. it means you just get the use of the materials and, and, you know, it's the script and the music and that's about it. Based upon the size of the house and the number of it, yeah, it's, it's, it's a, a secret sliding formula. scale. It's a secret place. formula yeah. we really, none well, of us by know. Monks who live somewhere <laughs> yes, exactly. in a cave somewhere in Indonesia. <laughs> I know I went through that. And, and you're right, then you have yeah. to talk about uh, everything else that comes with that. So to mount, let's say, let's take, I don't care which every show, you want to take Shrek the Musical, for example, that was just recent. Uh, to mount that mm -hmm. without making a penny on anything would have cost you how much money? 
How much should we spend on that? Gosh, I'm trying to think. Somewhere of, around forty thousand dollars, I wow. would think. Yeah. yeah. Really? So because yeah. the royalties alone are could be eight, eight to ten thousand dollars. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and musicals we pay more than plays because mm -hmm. there's the producer has more people to pay mm -hmm. yes. uh, when those mm -hmm. rights are used yeah. by community theaters like us. So, so you've got to figure that somewhere you gotta have a little profit margin there, you know. Yeah, yeah. and it was very little. Yeah, <laughs> it was very, very little, little on track yeah. because we spent ten thousand dollars on the costumes, we spent mm -hmm. Twelve thousand dollars on the scenery to rent all the drops and everything. Plus, mm -hmm. when you get in the pup, all the puppets that we created, right. and props and mm -hmm. microphone batteries and light bulbs and you know it, it all adds sure. up quickly. Yeah. And the programs and printing the programs. The, and the mm -hmm. PR that we pay for to be in the papers and then um, you know mm -hmm. WQL and radio will let us come on and talk about the show for free and we're so excited about that and sure. the partnership we have with you. Or, yeah. uh, so we do. Yeah, we have for a budget. Really, every show has the same pieces, mm -hmm. but every show is a new puzzle right. for us. And speaking of that um, kind of collaboration, you have an mm -hmm. outreach, I think, that maybe some people aren't aware of. Uh, mm -hmm. You don't just do the plays there at the theater, but you've got the showstoppers and right. anything else. We do have, a, you know, we talk as a staff all the time, we need people to come to 10th Street. Mm -hmm. We absolutely mm -hmm. do. The value and of a... Has that worked out well for you there? We, yeah, uh, yes, very space. much so, yeah, because we're space. in the heart of Erie right. uh, with all of our other er mm -hmm. uh, arts and culture mm -hmm. venues. Mm -hmm. uh, we're a big part of that, and we're proud to be a part of that there. Okay. We're easy to get to. Mm -hmm. You know, in Erie, you can get anywhere in 15 minutes, so yeah, it's, yeah. it's nice yeah. to You better do that. be able to park in front of the place, too, <laughs> or I'm not coming. Well, feed your meters. <laughs> and then uh, the nice distance between Cleveland, Buffalo, and Pittsburgh, sure. and we get nice mm -hmm. audiences, you know, mm -hmm. people coming from there, mm -hmm. too. If they want to see the show, they will mm -hmm. see the show. So coming to 10th sure. Street is vital. And the 1350 ticket for a student all the way through college and the $22 adult and senior ticket, the value, what that does for us when you are sitting in that house is mm -hmm. huge. Not only the response to the audience and the cast back and forth, because that's, that's vital for us to do the best show we can do, but also the fact that you are helping us by paying that admission price. Yeah. But we know as a theater and as a long-standing arts organization in our town that we need to go beyond 10th Street. Mm -hmm. So we do that with our outreach programs, as you mentioned, and mostly through the youth theater program, mm -hmm. I would say. But mm -hmm. at the same time, we get calls all the time. We could be agents, by the way, yes. right? Yes, we, we get calls all the time. And make a lot of money, too. We could, but we don't. 20% off the top. <laughs> you know, we need a few people to entertain here. We need mm -hmm. you to join us here. Please uh -huh. be at our show yeah. here. Well, we're yeah. looking for actors for TV for, commercials. Right, yeah. something yeah. like that. But the youth theater, uh, we have an excellent program. I think we're in our sixth year now with the Barber National Institute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So worthwhile, this program we do with okay. uh, performing and the children there right. um, sharing a story. It's just, it's, it's, it's magical, yeah. it really <laughs> is. Yeah, we are in tears every time yeah, we go we to yeah. it. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're pretty soft as it goes. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, the other thing that we're doing, which is huge for us, is the educational component. So we will go into schools, mm -hmm. after school programs. We'll go during the day. They come to us during the day, but we'll share uh, pre and post production information with schools so they can be prepared to come and then enjoy the show better because mm -hmm. they have a little more knowledge about it. Uh, we're moving into uh, being part of this Erie Together mm -hmm. and our whole community working toward reducing poverty and having children ready for school. Uh, we're working in a pre-K program and starting a pilot program this winter. Very excited about that because that's our future audiences, mm -hmm. right. advocates, and possibly talent. And that it's our part of our job to help children in this community thrive. And we'll be able to do that through theater. We're really excited. Uh, just my next question. I was just mm -hmm. going to say, theater today is, is kind of like in what position? Because what you have, competition from every electronic game in the world, streaming, T television is not television to them like it's television is to me. They don't, they don't like it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you have so much competition that you have to go and recruit. I don't know if that's the right word or not, but I, I hear you touching on that, saying we're mm -hmm. taking it out to the elementaries. Mm -hmm. um, is that playing easy? Is it playing okay? Uh, are they responding to that? Uh, I, I don't know what uh, your the, thoughts are, Richard, directly, but, yeah. but I guess my thoughts on that are, yes, we have mm -hmm. to work mm -hmm. to get people to come yeah. into the playhouse. Okay. Okay. But when they get there, to have that experience mm -hmm. of live theater with a big group of people yes. is very exciting. Very much. Because my son, my son goes to the theater, but he loves being home and playing his games, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So he will do that and he'll move toward the social aspect and be in a live theater yeah. and enjoy an experience that way too. But we have to recruit, as you said, yeah. and we yeah. got to get the audiences there. 
if if people have us as an uh, option, mm -hmm. we love that. Mm -hmm. You know, don't uh, I, double negatives are hard, but don't not think about the arts and culture in our community. Mm -hmm. Come to it, mm -hmm. experience it, try it. Um, and it's extremely collaborative too. You could go to the Children's Museum, we could be there for an event and helping them out, and then they'll turn around and they'll help us out at the Playhouse and share uh, the knowledge and the love of the arts and the history and culture and everything. Mm -hmm. is, is theater today, you know, um, well, they always, the great white way is like limping along the ground, you know, it's, just, they, it's always dying it seems. Um, is it, is it hard to get people, is, is, is theater still the, the conscience of the country? I mean, the plays, the musicals, the, does it say who we are in the world? Mm -hmm. Are the United States? Is it more? I mean, you know, you, you got cabaret, which is of course a musical, but it's a it's a condemnation of the, of, the, of Hitler and World War II. Mm -hmm. um, and it, how do you see that today, in, in a broad sense, mm -hmm. theater, play, musical? You know, do you think it? I, I rehash, think, or not rehashing, but redoing the oldies. And yeah, not, it, it's not generational. Out. Okay. Certainly, right. Right. we okay. we have this question all the time. Mm -hmm. We grew up. We love the golden age of mm -hmm. Broadway yeah. and musicals yeah. and theater. We love that stuff. Yeah. But is it too? Soft is it not mm. enough of a? Yeah. Uh, did, 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 yeah. Did, yeah. Does today audience? Did, does today's right. youth know who Rodgers and Hammerstein even are? Well, right. let alone when I'm watching Oklahoma Britney Spears so. naked on a video, what the heck do I want to go see you people right. for? I mean, yeah. you know, that's yeah, that's your competition. That. So, yeah, and right. again, yeah. the, so uh, we do. But I'm saying that's yeah. that's that's, that's right. a component you have to deal mm -hmm. with. But and we do kind of take try to take that into consideration when we're doing when we're doing our show selection. You know, well, we can do this show for this audience and this show will right. cater more to this audience and mm -hmm. this show to this audience. And, and so, yeah, know, right. Yeah. We can't play to one group. No, we can't we, play to one group. We, we tried, tried that at one time and it, 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 it just doesn't work it. anymore. I noticed in your latest playbill you address that because you line up the shows that you have coming up and they do play to various uh, mm -hmm. different audiences. Now I know this is not time sensitive, I don't mean to make that way, but you got Vanya and Sonia and Masha and Spike coming up which is not going to be necessarily for 17 year olds. Right. It's not for young kids, that's yeah, for not, sure. There's not for young kids, mature for sure. audience, mature yeah. subject matter and language. Mm -hmm. But you turn around and that show has won the best comedy, what, on Broadway? Broadway, yeah. Drama Desk, Outer Critic Circle, except yeah. for the polls, I think it's won every single award yeah. that a play can win. But hey. then, you, but it's up to us then to let the audiences know, trust us, this is a really good, good show. show. And if we it, need it wasn't to good, it. we wouldn't be doing that's it. That's right, yep. that's right. And like you mentioned, uh, you have Elf, and mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. would be specific, and I'm mentioning mm -hmm. Nine, which is coming up. This mm -hmm. is all in a booklet, which you can get at the Playhouse. Mm -hmm. Sleeping Beauty for the younger people. You, you are all over the map here, aren't you? Well, mm -hmm. No we, wonder you don't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> when we turned around this year and we, we were able to see the shows that were available to us as a community theater okay. in, the, in the United States, and then we take a look at these shows. And by the way, New York looks at us extremely favorably. They gave yeah. us Les Mis, Mary Poppins, and Elf before okay. all the other community theaters in the country. They love you. They trust us. Yeah. They trust you're us. Class they want to see professional what we do. people. That's right. And, and because of our talent and mm -hmm. the way our organization is right. run. Uh, our leadership from our board of directors, everything on down to, yeah. you know, the person moving, piece of scenery, and the blackout. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? We're, mm -hmm. we're top notch that way. But we sat down and then we went, oh my gosh, look at all these shows for families That's that are available to us this year. So mm -hmm. we turned around and we have a family season oh, nice. within our main stage and mm -hmm. new theater seasons. Yeah. And it is, it, the response to it has been terrific. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um, with that, that encourages us because then they're coming as a family. It's fabulous. Mm -hmm. That's the way they should experience it. Nothing more exciting than live theater. Uh, we called our daughter who lived in Cleveland. It was her <coughs> birthday. <laughs> we said we've made reservations to see our nephew Nick Adams on Broadway mm -hmm. and we got a plane reservation and we have a hotel reservation and we're picking you up and we're flying to New York and we're gonna go see Nick in La Caja Fall. And we said, what do you think? She went, I'll be back in a week or so. Bye. That was her yeah. family. <laughs> she got right on the plane, and away we went. You know, and that was yeah. that was uh, yeah, that was exciting to see our nephew Nick Adams on Broadway. Yeah. In, in and he, wait, he started at the Playhouse yes, in he did. Once, upon upon a mattress, a mattress. once Upon a Mattress, mm -hmm. and when mm -hmm. he was maybe this tall, yeah. mm -hmm. running around his little jester this, about suit. This thick. <laughs> yeah, he's not know? that thick anymore. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, he was, and he actually told me once that when he came to see a youth theater show, he went, I can do that. Yeah. That's what I want to do. Yeah. And we have kids like that. That's what they want to mm -hmm. do. That's what they want their 
paycheck to come from. Mm -hmm. But most of the kids we work with and the people we work with, again, it's a hobby or it gives them the strength. You know, a kid will turn around and can stand up now in front of uh, a school presentation mm -hmm. of 500 kids and be confident. Yep. We have young people that can carry on really good conversations with, you know, their people their grandparents age mm -hmm. you know that's our job the communication mm -hmm. and uh, but we do it in a fun way which is great for them for the audiences uh, I just mentioned that my Nick is a nephew Nick is currently in the wicked uh, plays the meal leader one of the touring companies and uh, he's doing very well mm -hmm. Let, let's um, to, to the uh, um, to the abstract of discussing theater it, it's alive and well I mean they always it's on a bouncing curve you know nobody wants to go television is a huge competitor uh, but like you said live theater is just invigorating it's a social experience mm -hmm. uh, is it okay we're doing is, is it going to survive all of the uh, I don't have my cell phone on me but you know <laughs> everything I, I think it's going to survive yeah, I, I just well, I was in New York about a month ago yeah. the place is packed but Vibrant. I my yeah. husband and I who's a, a theater director mm -hmm. Sean down at Gannon but he he does theater and his kids are lucky. They get to do theater for several reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to do theater to balance a budget mm -hmm. and to entertain a community. Mm -hmm. um, and so entertainment is big for us. Yeah. But it, you know, these college levels, which we have great college theater in this town, yeah. they'll turn around and they can do the entertainment value, but we're responsible to make people think Mm -hmm. Right, and uh -huh. and maybe to as you mentioned, you know the the history of a community yeah, or sure. talking about a subject matter and and having different opinions about it. Um, we want theater to do those three things. You know what I mean? And it just so we. But I think for us, for, and the reason I go to theater mostly is for entertainment. Yeah. I want to leave. I want to finish a day at work, go and know I'm going to be entertained and have fun. Sure. I know I'm going to learn something along mm -hmm. the way because mm -hmm. good theater does that. Yep. But. At the same time, uh, my pure main reason is entertainment for mm -hmm. me. So. You too, same thing. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. and and you know, I've, I've, I because we work in the business too. You know, I guess my I'm always looking at, oh, can we do this, or how did they do that? You know, is something you know is something they're going to inspire me as an artist to to create something else. Mm -hmm. I think uh, when you're on the stage. Uh, there's no safety net. That's it. You know, I mean, you make a mistake, you don't go, well, take three. You know, you can't can't do that. Can I take a break a minute? You people go talk among yourselves. I'll be back in about an hour. Uh, yeah, and that, um, to me, it's exhilarating. It's exciting. Yeah. You know, you're mm -hmm. pumped. You're, 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 you're just driving. Yeah. Um, and when, when, and when you have five-year-olds yes. that can do it like this, yeah, yeah. You know, I know, and you go, darn you! Yeah. <laughs> you're nervous beforehand too, right? You have well, that adrenaline, mm -hmm. but as soon so as you step out, yeah. it's like, oh, here yeah. comes this the inevitable question: yeah. How did you get interested, and then how oh. did you get interested? Well, gosh, how I, I mean, I started theater when I was in high school, so Which is four or five years ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish, <laughs> and uh, you know, and then I got it. I actually, this will be uh, this November. It'll be 30 years since my. Well, actually, right now, it's 30 years since my first show at the Playhouse, the audition for The Wizard of Oz. And I just started as a member of the singing chorus, and, mm -hmm. you know, gradually, as I got more and more involved, decided I wanted it to be my career and went yeah. away to design school and came back to the Playhouse yeah. as the costume designer and then moved in, you know, then yeah. when David retired, moved up to producing directors. So and okay. Richard's been at the Playhouse now. This is his 26th year on staff. On staff. Too, which is pretty awesome. Wow. Yeah. And uh, Charlie Coratori, which a lot of people know, he's starting his 41st year on staff. Oh, he started when he was seven. Well, that's true. He did. Yeah. He was very, very young. <laughs> okay, how about um, you? Two confessions. Well, here. you know what? Father Phil. I'm, I'm very fortunate. My brother Sal and Paul and I got to go to theater when we were, we were our parents would take us, my dad, Alex, my mom, Jean, to uh, the dinner theater, Ben Agresti's dinner theater. Sure. And we'd go to the playhouse. We'd go everywhere. Uh, my dad put me as George Washington in third grade, I think because I had a ponytail and it was slight nepotism. <laughs> and I sang your grand old flag, you know, that kind of thing. My first show at the Playhouse was 77, so 37 years ago. I was in the ensemble of uh, The Sound of Music. And, um, and I've been on sta sta or staff now for 23 years at the Playhouse. So, oh and we've just, it's just been our hobby, so that's, that's what we do. So, you know, it's just like someone that gardens or reads. Mm -hmm. You know, they have mm -hmm. a passion for it and they do mm -hmm. it. Yeah, so. I'm looking at your lineup of plays and I had a book there that says the same thing. 
you really do run a full year. There's oh, yeah. really no stop. stop. No. You no. know, there's I mean, you no see, uh, you go to Broadway and it's a limited run, and then the play is just, uh, turned over to somebody else, and mm -hmm. people will agree to a limited run. And, and you know what's amazing to me is when you go to see the long running ones, the Les Mis, the Mamma Mia's, the uh, Phantoms. Phantom. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know who's in the play. It's the play that's the star. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, the play's right. the star. And in a sense, the writer. You know, and we trust author. Broadway to do a good job every time they yeah. people go. Oh, you go to a show, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't want to see mm -hmm. kids in the wings chatting. No, no, well, no. I'm mm -hmm. sitting in my seat. That kind right. of thing. Right? Yeah. You're not going to see that. Uh, and we do the same thing. When you're we, paying yeah. 125 bucks for a, a seat, and your back is against the paint on the last right. wall in the 14th <laughs> row, uh, deck up. You know, yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah. And we and we we do say it, and we believe it. But it's the best thing in the world when a patron tells us, mm -hmm. you know, we spent $22 at the Playhouse. We spent $150 on. Broadway, mm -hmm. we're, we're we're not missing anything when we come to the playhouse. And no, and it's, I've heard that said terrific. for years and years yeah. and years. Yeah. The caliber of the talent, the people who do this, and again, can't be stressed, they're volunteers. Right. They've yeah. committed themselves to this passion. Again, Richard Davis, he's the producing director of the Erie Playhouse, and sitting next to him is Almitra Almi Clerken, executive director of the Erie Playhouse. It's in his 98th year. And that's, what, 1,267 productions. You, th that's a record that not too many community theaters, I think, no. what, second oldest? Third oldest in the country, Third oldest. busiest in Pennsylvania, for sure. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got a couple of minutes left. Let's, let's, let's sum up. Uh, you want people to know about what you're doing, or you're inviting them to please try out, give us a sample, come on down, take a look. You got it, Rich. Go ahead. We'll give you the last word. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said it was good, though. Well, I mean, we, we are always looking for new people. We have, yeah. you know, constantly, I think, with every year, within every couple of months we have auditions for yeah. for our upcoming shows. And again and they can find that out by going to? EriePlayhouse.org. Okay. You can uh -huh. visit, click on performances, click on auditions and it will come right up there what the cattle calls are and uh, and what the shows are auditioning and what you need to bring to be prepared and mm -hmm. we are very used to you know we're not we don't need to have you come in the door and have any experience at all. Yes. We're used to working with people who have been on stage for years and years and people who it's their first time first time out. and you know we know how to to bring out the best in you and and we we look forward to doing that i mean i think that's one of the things i like about what we do is it's not always a new show but it's always new people coming in the door who, who are you going to meet with the show you know it's and you can walk in and somebody you're going to meet your next best friend for the rest of your life I, you just took the yeah. words you're, you're going to make lifelong friendships yes absolutely yes. and not everything's going to be bumpy buckle up it's going to be a bumpy night you know? <laughs> it's, it's, it's it's a lot of love yeah, and yeah. companionship and just uh, Almi, i think we got the last word yeah for you. I, Save I, time. Think, I think the biggest thing from the actors on stage to new people in our mm -hmm. audiences or those people who have been extremely faithful to us. We want everybody to come and give it a shot. And same mm -hmm. thing like Broadway. You can trust. If we do a show like Vanya and Sonia Masha Spike you've never heard of before, trust us, it's going to be good. We're going to do that the best yeah. way that we do Absolutely. any show that we do. Yeah. And everyone is welcome. Two professionals for sure. Thanks for joining me. Thank you. Thank you for joining us too. The Erie Playhouse is waiting for you to walk through the door and be a patron or to be up on that stage and just dazzle them. Until next time, I'm Phil Fatika. Take care. You're watching the Mill Creek Government Channel, powered by WQLN Public Media.